guys, I'm Catherine. I'm currently in my fourth year of studying medicine at Queen's. School's out for the summer, so I finally have time to enjoy Belfast and all of the lovely things that are on offer here. So I thought today I'd take you on a little journey to see some of my favorite spots in and around Belfast, a little student's guide to the city. Hope you enjoy. Starting off with the Lisbon Road area, which is located just down the road from Queen's, this is Cranmore Park, which is lovely on a sunny day. The Lisbon Road is great, um, there's so many shops, and um, there's a lot of practicalities like the local Tesco, and a lot of students live in this area. I personally really like it as there's so many coffee shops to meet a friend for a coffee or a brunch, as well as lots of options if you're treating yourself to a dinner out, um, including some local Belfast brands such as Boojum and Little Wing. Me and my friends went to their brand new Chubby Cherub and um, celebrate our exams finishing recently and it was a really lovely vibe and a really nice way to celebrate. So I definitely recommend checking out this area, including some sweet treats as well. Moving on to one of the areas closest to campus, we have Stramillis. Down at one end we have the Queen's Campus and Botanic Gardens and then there's plenty of Queen's buildings up on Stramillis as well. This is an area that's obviously very popular with students, whether that is for a little look around some of the local businesses and um, some cute independent stores whether that's to grab a bite to eat and a coffee between class, Stramilis definitely has you covered. It's really handy to campus um, and with lots of greenery and heading down towards the Stramilis embankment, it's quickly become my favourite place to go for a caffeine fix if I'm on a break from the Maclay. There's also the wildly popular Ordo for dinner, um, as well as some places for a nice little pint with friends. Me and my friends really like the Jaggy Nettle. There's always live music and it's got a really nice atmosphere. There's also lots of students who will live on the streets off the Stramillis during their time at uni. Located just in behind the Queen's buildings, we have Botanic, which is another very popular area with students, whether they're living there or just stopping in for a bite to eat. Again, it has a great selection of local cafes and restaurants. One of my personal favourite places there is Town Square. It's very versatile for drinks, hot chocolates, anything, as well as Noelle Buys Bookstore, which is so cosy and cute. Queen's is located about a 10 minute walk from the city centre and when you get down here or you're already living in the area in BT1 and BT2, you can see that there's so much to do and see in the city centre. Whether that includes taking in landmarks like City Hall or just going for a browse around the shops, the city centre of Belfast has lots going on. Um, there's cool art, there's plenty of shops, both big chains and some smaller independent stores um, and plenty of options. There's also lots of arts and culture um, with a new cinema having opened recently in Castle Court um, and things like event spaces and galleries popping up over the city all the time. It's really great at the weekends as well if you've got a little bit more time to visit St George's Markets. It's a Belfast staple. A lot of our shopping is concentrated in and around Victoria Square with as you can see, literally any shop you could want being present. And if you're new to the city, I really recommend heading up to their dome at the top of the shopping centre. It gives you a great view out over all of Belfast, points out lots of the important landmarks, and on a sunny day was actually absolutely roasting when I was up there. As you head through the city centre, you head into Cathedral Quarter, um, which is our personal top pick for a night out. There's so many options for cute little bars or places to get food and cocktails with friends. Um, and I think most of my university nights out have ended up in the Dirty Onion at some point. It's also really gorgeous in the daytime, as you can tell, um, with little alleyways, lots of street art to be seen, and some really lovely cafes and restaurants. If you're feeling fancy um, or looking for a celebration, we always end up heading to a restaurant in St Anne's Square. As you can see, it's just a really, really pretty part of Belfast um, and there's loads of great options for a nice meal there as well. Not forgetting plenty of coffee shops as there is everywhere in Belfast. Lastly, we have the Titanic Quarter. While this is a little bit further away from Queen's, it's still accessible on foot and is well worth it in my opinion, especially on a sunny day for some gorgeous views out over the water. It's a really nice place to head for a walk or to check out a concert or a Giants game in the SSE. There's also lots of history down here with the very popular Titanic Museum um, and the Belfast Shipyards as well. And it's honestly just a really underrated area in my opinion. And that wraps up my tour of my favourite spots in and around Belfast. All the places that I filmed are places that me and my friends enjoy, go to, or have seen recommended. Um, so they're all vetted, and as you can see, there's so much to see and do in the city. Hopefully, if you're currently a student, it gives you some ideas to check out, or if you're coming to Belfast soon, an idea of what to expect. Happy exploring, and I'll see you next time. Bye!